I miss doing this. I will never ever get enough of it. Thank you. The young leaders who care about their country, uh, they have a very strong view about how the country should be developed and how countries should, should move forward in some of the issues that we are addressing as, uh, as partners in this region. I know that this morning we discussed many of some of the uh, difficult issues that are before us, and we have done so in a very constructive manner, constructive manner which uh, is going to uh, ensure that uh, our relationship between, between the two countries continue to strengthen. And it is strengthening not only in some of the aid programs and the other uh, bilateral relations that we have with, uh, with Australia, but in terms of trade and investment. I think over, we understand that over 20 billion Australian dollars uh, have been invested in Papua New Guinea by Australian companies. The trade between the two countries, uh, of course, uh, made in eight billion we understood to, to happen last year. So it is growing every year. I want all Australians to know that PNG matters, and I want all PNG people to know that as far as I am concerned, uh, this is uh, a personal relationship, it's not just a business relationship, it's uh, friends and family, not just people that we want to have transactions with. So uh, as long as I'm the Prime Minister, uh, I will be a regular visitor to PNG. Uh, Prime Minister O'Neill and myself agreed this morning that there would be an annual uh, Prime Ministerial Summit, um, one year in Australia, the other year in PNG, and uh, certainly I want the people of PNG to know that they are taken seriously and appreciated by Australia. Prime Minister, we are very fortunate uh, that we have a generation of urgent, a generation that's passionate, a generation that's, uh, that shares a deep commitment to their country, a deep sense of professional and personal integrity, a deep sense of, uh, of, of duty to, to advance the conditions of the people and to lift the country forward. Um, and I hope that today, in the short time you have with us, both you, Prime Minister Neil and Prime Minister Abbott, will have the chance to, to spend time with, with some of these, uh, these outstanding Papua New Guineans. We have people from civil society, Serena, you met. We have outstanding leaders coming from government, Anthony Yaya, led by Denmark from the Department of Social and Local Level Government Affairs, and people coming through the business sector, and the new uh, Chief Operating Officer of Manuel Super, Charlie Kulubichi, from Leslie Taveri, in the back, from Origin Energy, and Kottingham Geno, um, from the NMSA. We have also people in the media industry, and in traditional media, our youngest ever uh, editor of the Post Korea, Alex. Uh, Rooney, and, and new media through, uh, through the Stella magazine with Amanda Benigni, and also now with social media. One of our earliest pioneers of social media, Amanda Narco, right here in front, back when most people in PNG hadn't heard of Twitter and Facebook, and many was the first adopter. I think he was the first guy in the country to get a Google account. <laughs> <laughs> and we have you know, others like um, <coughs> redefining how, how you can influence the way your country thinks. You know, a humble an outseller who with, uh, with an iPad or an, an internet access can communicate thoughts on the state of the country, the state of the world, uh, through the internet. And that's uh, Martin Naimoro with the iPad. <laughs> <laughs> okay.